Hey, someone's contacted me by email about doing like a post carousel. So they want to have some blog posts on and they want them to just move along the screen automatically. There are plugins out there and I recommended a QI add-ons one. However, it wasn't satisfying exactly what they want because they want it to be moving all the time. So I said, let me just quickly do a video. So let me just jump straight into it, okay? By the way, we are using Elementor Pro, okay, because some people have said I don't always state that, even though it's kind of in the cover art, we are using Elementor Pro. But what we're going to utilize is the testimonial carousel. We're going to add in some templates. Let's pretend we want to show six posts. And the idea is, is that there'll be short codes and the posts will be individual templates, but they're all going to be offset. And what I mean by that is... Every time you update your post, your latest post will always be the first one and your second post will be the second one. And every time you add in a new post, they shift along the numbers automatically. It will make sense in a second. Drop in over here, the testimonial carousel. This is one of those widgets that I think a lot of people just don't realize how powerful it is. I'm going to get rid of everything we have here and I'm going to go to item one and I'm going to get rid of the content. I'm going to yeah, get rid of the content, get rid of the image get rid of the name, and I'm going to get rid of the CSC, well, the title as well. So I've got basically nothing going on there. What I now need to do is go over to my WordPress website, go over to templates down here, and I'm going to go to save template, okay, and I'm just going to create add new. What we're going to do is we're just going to create a section like this, okay, and I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to call it post carousel one. We are going to have to do this for how many posts you want to show. So if your carousel is going to be 20 posts, you're going to have to do this 20 times. Now, there are going to be much better methods out there, and I bet someone's going to come up with some funky JavaScripting. Well, this is just how I do things and how I like to roll. So if you don't want to roll my way, go and roll elsewhere. Anyway, let's just go over here now, and let's just pull in the posts, right? So here we go. We're going to drop in the post widget. But I don't need, by the way, these are all fake um, images, all right, for some posts on one of our websites, right? Uh, the columns is one and one, image at the top, the image size I've set to full, the ratio I've set to 0.55, because you can see what happens if you have it at a slightly different size. Just put that back to what I had there. The image width I've set to be 300 pixels, so it's kind of condensed into a particular size. I'm showing the title, I've get, got rid of the excerpt because I, you know, it was all just fake. Look, you can see, look at the excerpt. It's just all fake numbers going on over there. I don't need any metadata. And I'm going to just say the buttons can be automatically aligned or whatever like that. That's not really going to make much difference. I have to be honest. So you might need to play around a little bit more as well. But that kind of will do what I need. Um, the key bit, though, is the section. So I've currently set the height for the section to be 400 pixels. If you want to make it bigger, you can do. I mean, I actually think 300. In fact, no, that's not right. Sorry, let me go back a step. That section, I need to make the width of this be, um, uh, make this, let me make this be about 400 in width, which is way, no, sorry, 300, what am I doing? My brain went dead then. Because the image is 300 pixels in width, I need to make the section 300 as well, just so I can see how it looks. Because I'm pretty sure loads of you are jumping up and down right now and going, this is ugly. Just let it go, okay? This is post one. Now, this post, if we go to the query tab, okay, while you're in the content bit, this is showing us posts. You can change it to be pages or products or whatever you want. Okay, I would leave it as what it is. Just leave it as post. The key bit, though, is it is order by date descending. So your latest post will always be coming in here automatically. You create a brand new post, it will always go there. Let's just publish this now, right? Now, before you go and create the second, third, fourth, and fifth template as well, here's my tip. Copy what you've already done, right? Go over to templates, create add new. Uh, just going to call it section and I'm going to call it uh, post carousel two. It's very good to have like a naming convention here. Let's click create template. And all you do is paste what we've done, right? So let's get rid of that. And let's just hit paste. It is going to be exactly the same template. However, we're going to make a little change here. We're going to go over to the section and we are going to go down to where it says query. What you're now going to do is click exclude. The moment you do that, this additional option pops up. Can you see what's going on here? 
the minute you exclude, you have offset. Now, if I type offset one, that is now going to offset one. So what that means is this is now the second post. Zero is the first post. One is the second post. Okay. Number two would be the third post. You're offsetting. You're moving along. That is done. You're probably looking at this and going, what? Really? Is that it? That is done. Let's just copy that. Let me now go in, uh, copy the section. Let me go over and create a new template. We're going to do the same thing again. We're just going to have a section and I'm going to call this one. Uh, by the way, I'm only going to do this uh, for three times and I'm just going to duplicate, duplicate, duplicate so we can get this done really quickly. Let's just create the template. I hope this is making sense, by the way, what we're doing. Sorry if it's not. Let's just paste that. Let's go into this post, go down to query. It's already got, uh, sorry, it hasn't, by the way, it's taking it off. Exclude, there it is. And we're, at the minute it's offset one. I now want to show the third post. So I'm going to say offset two. That is now the third post, right? So now I'm just going to hit publish. So I'm going to pick up the short code for post number one. Go back over to my page where I had the testimonial carousel. And where we have slide one, I'm just going to put in the short code into the content one. Now, you won't always see what is actually visible on the screen. Sometimes you've got to hit update. Sometimes you've got to refresh your page. Sometimes you've got to go to preview. But that's what we're going to do for now. I'm then just going, in fact, I'm just going to duplicate like that. We're then going to get the code for short code number two or carousel number two. And we go to item two and drop that code in there. And then we're going to go and get the third one as well. And let's just go into the third one and drop that in as well. Now, I am just going to duplicate the third one. Um, let's just go with six times for now, okay? At the moment, you're not seeing anything. But before we go and preview it, I just want to modify what we do on the testimonial carousel. So I'm just going to leave this to be like the default skin, uh, image in line, center, center. We're going to say that we see, um, let's go with four posts for now. When it scrolls, there will be one scrolling at any one time. Um, I'm going to leave the width as it is. The additional options, I'm not going to show arrows and I'm not going to show dots. This is just going to be moving, right? Okay. I'm actually going to get rid of the autoplay speed. All right. You might be thinking, what are you doing here? Why are you getting rid of that? Trust me, you just get rid of it. The autoplay speed is basically zero, which means it's kind of just playing. Okay. Uh, the image side will leave as full. And that's basically all we're going to do here for now. However, we are going to drop in a little bit of code. Now, the code is in the YouTube description. Please don't ignore it. This code came from Zoe, who's on the Elementor Facebook group, Zoe Tame. I always wonder if I'm going to say her surname right. Is it Tame or Tame or Tami? Zoe Tame, right? Uh, she's a, a great, amazing designer. She did a video uh, a couple of years ago, I think. And it was on uh, Marquis and she put this code in and I've got to give credit to her for this. It's an amazing bit of code. And what it will now do is it's basically going to make everything move. It is literally previewing. And the great thing is because it's a testimonial carousel, I can like I can actually I can I, I can do this as well. And look, when I do that, it starts to go the other way. But if I do that back again like that, it goes back that way. So this is now I mean, by the way, look, uh, that was post one. That was post two, and this is post three, which we repeated about four times. And then it goes back to post one. And look, there's no break, right? It is now just scrolling. This is a really simple, easy way. And all I did was create some templates, right? Created templates, um, created this uh, testimonial carousel, dropped the short code in like here. And then the key bit was when you go to advanced, is popping in this code, which is in the YouTube description. You can be quite creative with this. You could have posts, you could have products, you, you could have loads of stuff going on here, but it's um, a really simple, easy thing to do. And remember, when you go to posts, okay, query, exclude, offset, okay? The very first one is you leave the zero. The second one is one. The third one is two. The fourth one is three. Right. So basically you're taking away one or however you want to think about it. Look, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I hope that helps you out. So we're not adding in another plugin. We're just using what we've got with Elementor Pro or whatever.
I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, 